there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now the job for today is to review this new kit from Multipick. It is a Multipick Elite 9 piece lock pick kit, it's a beginner's kit and I have got to say it has become my favourite beginner's set. Now I don't say that lightly guys because as you know I am a huge fan of sparrows um, but this stuff here, German engineered, it is just flat out better than the Sparrow stuff. There is no question about that. So, um, what do you get for your money? Well, you get two turning tools, and um, they're fairly generic. They're just bent bits of wire, like turning tools always are. Um, they can be used top or bottom of the keyway, although I have to say, if you are a real top of the keyway fan, you might like to get another separate turning tool as well. Either way, you don't need it in a beginning kit and it's not here. So, multi-purpose turning tools. Now, next thing we've got here are three hooks or, or three single pin picking picks of varying types. Now, the standout out of here, and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see these shapes a little better. The standout feature here, gentlemen, is that they do not give you a short hook and that's a very interesting decision that they've made. So um, what they have given you is a half diamond and the idea is that that is going to be your mainstay st single pin pick. They have given you a steep hook for dealing with uh, difficult bitting and they have given you a DeForest Diamond if you prefer that style of picking. So what they don't have is an equivalent to, and I'm just going to put my Sparrow's short hook in there so you can see, um, they don't have an equivalent to the Sparrow's short hook. They reckon that this is redundant. And you know what? I actually agree with them. <coughs> Excuse me. As much as I love the Sparrow's short hook for most applications, it has to be said that that combination of three profiles there is actually a better bet for a greater number of locks. Now the other thing that they've done here which I think is interesting, um, all of these um, tools including these three, they're in 23 thousandths not 25. So um, they're using spring steel, they have thinned it down a little bit so they've made a decision to use slightly thinner steel so that you can get them into slightly more keyways than the bog standard 25 but without sacrificing any strength and again I think that is a huge improvement. Now the other thing that's really good about this stuff is the handles. Um, these handles are laminated so we have got the body of the pick going right down the centre right, right down to the, the back um, and we have got steel spot welded onto either side of that and believe me when I tell you guys that is absolutely rigid let me zoom back out again um, that thing there I mean I'm, I'm literally trying to snap that okay and it just flexes a tiny bit um, the detailing on here is incredible it's very hard to photograph and um, you're probably not going to see it but um, they give us the, the pick number so the, um, the, the model number of the pick up here in this case PN09 is their number for the DeForest Diamond and then unbelievably um, on the bottom of the handle you actually get a unique serial number. I can't believe I'm saying that. So um, this is an elite <coughs> pick if you can read that. The serial number is whatever it is and the date is 2017. That gentlemen is quality. No doubt about it. Alright so that's our three single pin picking picks. Those are our two turning tools at the top there. What else do you get for your money? You get two rakes now, um, again, they have gone conservative here. They have given us um, a snake rake and a, a bogatar equivalent, a triple peak. Um, now, the snake rake has been around for 80 years. There's you know nothing new under the sun there. Um, the bogatar has been around since the 1980s. Both well-known picks. They both work very well. The only thing that I think is interesting about their bogatar is that they haven't put a third cut out here under that little peak. 
and I don't know why that is. I, I, I genuinely don't know. Maybe they've done the maths on the strain and stress on this and it just wasn't worth putting um, more strain relief under there. I don't know the answer to that, but what I do know is that both of these picks are very, very effective. Um, they will work straight out of the box. They will work better if you clean them up a little bit. Every pick does, guys. So if you get in here with some 1,000 and then 1,500 grit sandpaper, um, these and the single pin picks are going to work slightly better. But I'll tell you now, you could take that and with the fit and finish that you've got there, take that straight out of the packet and use it straight away. All right, now the last two things in the packet. Slightly less use, but still interesting to have. Now, this thing here, that little round ball-shaped pick, um, that is designed for wafer locks. So things like uh, old-fashioned car doors, things like filing cabinet locks, that sort of low security stuff. Um, now, this isn't a shape that gets used a lot these days, guys. In fact, I've, I've never actually used one of these. Now, what I have done, though, is modified these to get myself a pick of a different shape. And I think for most folks, that's what's going to end up happening to this one. So what you have got here, effectively, is a spare pick blank, which, once you get a little bit better with picking and you know that you need something specific, you can use that to modify. And the last thing, finally, God, I was impressed with this. They give you a key extractor, a broken key extractor. Now, I can't think of a basic lockpick kit that gives you one of these as standard. The only kit I can think of um, is the Peterson City kit, which is a, a, a kit specifically designed for locksmiths. Um, on the other hand, Multipick have given you one of these in your basic kit, and I just cannot get over that. I, I think it's a great idea. So, there it is, gents. Um, it is a very, very, very good kit for your money. Um, these are not expensive, and particularly given the fact that you're buying German engineering, but, you know, they, they really are astonishingly cheap. I recommend this kit. Now you do see me want to get into a lock with it, I'm sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab a, um, a five pin euro, clamp that up and do the business. Back in a second. Okay lads, we're back in business. Um, now, I have deliberately chosen a fairly difficult wee lock. Um, five pin euro, difficult bitting. So I can tell you for a fact you cannot pick this with a sparrow's short hook. Um, if you have a look there, there is just no way that you can get up and set pin five without oversetting pin three on this thing with a short hook, it just can't be done. Um, on the other hand, let's get in there with the uh, multi-pick stuff. Now we're gonna tension it, top of the keyway, and I might actually go backwards, let's, <clears throat> yeah, let's do that, okay top of the keyway tension, nice and light tension, and I am using this DeForest Diamond nice and gently, and okay, one's binding straight off, nice big click out of one, little click out of two, nothing on three, nothing on four, little click on five, okay, back to the front. One feeling set, two feeling set, three binding, nice big click out of three. I think we've probably only got one pin to go now or we could just even be sitting on a ledge of something. So let's just go back through. One, nothing happening. Two, nothing happening. Three, nothing happening. Four, nothing happening. Ah, okay, and it's five. There we go. And we are open just like that. 
beautiful, beautiful pick. Um, you saw me using light tension and just light picking force on that thing. Um, this is a horrible crusty lock. This is a disgusting lock, okay? It feels horrible to pick. All grunchy and, and graunchy, um, but this thing just chewed through it. So, that's our review guys. Multi-pick nine piece Elite. It is a fantastic beginner's pick. Set, uh, pick set, you need to buy the set. Thanks for watching guys, my name is Michael Maynard and this is Gorilla Picking.